is for Allah, nothing but Allah. Ba is the beginning of Bismillah. Ta is for Taqwa, bewaring of Allah. And Tha is for Thawab, a reward. Ja is for Jannah, the garden of paradise. Ha is for Hajj. The blessed pilgrimage Kha is for Khatim The seal of the prophethood Given to the prophet Muhammad Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Welcome to our program Learn Arabic Today it's meme How can you write it and how can we pronounce it And as everyone knows that meme is described as a nasal sound and a nasal letter But that means if you'd like to pronounce meme It could be very close to M in English I think we can discuss more about that But after introducing all my guests today I'm joined as always with Khaled from Guyana Mohammed from England Osama from Egypt And Nabil finally from Pakistan Welcome to all of you It's meme Which is pronounced actually as meh yeah. Did you find any difficulty in pronouncing it? Let me just try that Meme is probably the easiest one It's the yeah. easiest yeah, one the easiest Okay one, yeah. But I would tell you that when it comes to in writing meme I would say it would be different from M in English. Yeah, that's absolutely. Right. Yeah, that's right. right. And uh, let me just go on here to the slide. I mean, is, is, there, is there any word similar to Arabic in English? I um, see. Well, you don't have a lot, actually. Uh, uh, but uh, I would say when it comes to pronunciation, I think that we have a lot of Arabic letters that probably are very similar. Yeah, but I'm talking about writing. No, about writing, of course, yeah. they are different, completely different. Yeah. We have to remember, as we discussed before in the first episode, that even the side of writing in Arabic is starting from the right to left. Okay, anyway, let's now get back again to the slide here, and it says, Meme is a connecting letter whose basic shape is easily identifiable. A small round loop. Here is that. So now we're going to start today with that. Sounds like that. Or you can also make sounds like that. Hmm. We're going to see. Okay. And the way the loop is drawn and connected to the other letters varies in handwriting. I think that's right. But when it comes in the typewriting style, I think it will be just one fourth, which is meme which is closed, uh, below, not above the line. Yes. Okay. To write independent meme, begin on the line, draw a small round loop over and around to the right side. Here it is, in this way. Can you see that? To the right side. So this is loop. And then we make a straight line. Okay. Continue along the line, a short distance. Make a corner and draw the tail straight down. Here is that. When it comes to, if you like just to write meme as an independent form, so you write that in this way. Can you see that? Mm. Or also you can write that in this way. Why not? Can you see that? Yeah. Well, I think this is probably better if you like just to write uh, meme as an independent shape, independent form. This is about meme as an independent shape. What about initial position? In initial position? Well, I think that this is the point that um, Muhammad, we're going to discuss. Meme, when it comes to the initial position, it's all the time connected. Yeah. So it's the same like Ain, it's the same like Gain, the same like Ta. So we have common feature in Arabic letters that most of them, when they come in the initial position, they are connected. Here is that. For meme, it's always connected, and the letter may be looped up or down. Here is that. So I can write, for example, the word Masr, which means Egypt. Yeah. Let me just write that. How many letters do we have here in this word? Five, three. Okay. Ma, Sa, and Ra. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would combine all of them together. So please follow me in writing this. Ma. Sir. Mas. Mas. Exactly. That's right. Yeah, Here we go. Right. Here we go. Right. Okay. Well, that's terrific. Interesting. Well, here it is. So we say Mas. Mas. Or Misr. Yeah. As it is mentioned in Quran. But we don't say Masr. Yeah. Because again, we don't have vowel here above uh, the letter so. so okay. So, when we pronounce meme in Arabic, it's close in pronunciation to M in English. It's the same me. me. Well, that's why it's described as a bilabial sound. So that means that the two lips are coming together closer mm. in order to pronounce it perfectly. Okay. So when it comes to initial position, it's always connected, and you can write that in this form. So it's called lobed down, or probably it can be lobed up here in this way. Can you see that? Mm. Yeah. Can you I see think, that? I think normally people write loop down. Because if, well, you, loop, if, if you loop up, it was closer to fan and cough. And cough, yeah. And cough, that's exactly, right. that's right. I think that again, I just you. one distinction, which is dot. Yeah, dots, okay. yeah. And also, you have to remember that when you come in cough or fat, we make a kind of very short line here. Hear that? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Can you see that? 
we make a kind of multi degree angle here, probably. I mean, if you, if you, if you loop down and it's two power dot, that still signifies that mean because fa and qaf is loop up. Exactly. In the classic way, it's loop down. Exactly, that's right, Khalid. Yeah, I think meme is like just like a circle, but the fa is like uh, you got before the uh, before you reach, you carry like right. a curve. Right. Eh? Exactly. That's absolutely correct. Okay. So this is meme when it comes to actually initial position. Let me just move on here, and meme when it comes in the medial position. It should be looped down from the connecting segment. Here is that. Like for example, ummi. I think that's true. Or pro can you give me another example for meme when it comes to the medial position? Imam. Thamar. Yeah. Imam. Thamar. Thamar. Well, so Thamar. Thamar. Let me, look, qamr, right. Yeah. Let, let me write this word. For example, I would say qamr. And how many letters do we have in the word qamr? Well, three. Yeah. three. Three. Here is it. That is qa. Two dots. Combining qa with ma. Here is that. It should come here, actually. Loop down. Exactly. It's called down looped. Yeah. You can't actually write qamr here in this way. In this way. Hmm. That's, can you see that? Yeah. It's a very small circle. And then you make ra. Yeah. Qamr. Can you see that? So the meme can be looped up in initial position only. Exactly, exactly. That's yeah. right. So and it's preferable not to do that. I, I would, I would, I would suggest that. I yeah. mean, this is my recommendation. Yes. Make meme all the time. Loop down. Okay. So this is when it comes to middle position. How about in the final position? Let me just move on here to the following. So can you give me please an example? Here is that. Oh, in final position, sometimes connected like Karim, mm -hmm. and sometimes disconnected like Imam. Yeah. Yep. Imam, right. So yeah. let me just start, to, for example, with Karim or Imam or Islam. I would start with Karim. Here is it. How many letters do we have here? Here is it. It's Ka. Four. Four. Okay. Ka. And then we have Ra. And then we have Ya. Yeah. And then we have Mi. Yeah. Okay. I would combine all of them together. Here is it. Please follow me. Yeah. Ka. Ra. And then Ra, as you know, when it comes to middle position, it's not connected with the following one. Mm. And then we have Ya. Yeah. With two dots, we're going to discuss more about Ya. Yeah. Then you can make something like that. Can you see that? Hmm. Well, that would be perfect. Here we go. Exactly. Yes. That's right. Yes. Got it. Yes. Excellent. Osama. Great. Well, excellent. Right. Here is it. In this way. So, <clears throat> this is the first case when mean comes in final position, which is connected. But on the other hand, it also comes disconnected. Like, for example, when I say the word Islam or Imam, here is it. In this way. If I say Imam, a religious leader, <coughs> or Islam, here is it. I saw how many letters do we have here? Four. Uh, four. four. How many yeah. emphatic letters do we have? We have one. only one. One, which is ayin. How about saw? Yeah. Well, I think that saw is an emphatic letter, yeah, right? Here we emphatic. go. How about meme? No, it's, so, a, it's an nasal sound. It's a nasal sound. Here we go. You got my point now. Okay. So let me just combine all, the, all of them together. Here is that. I will remove the tail, as we discussed before. Yeah. We're going to start here with a, and then saw. Also, we'll remove the tail. The tail, right, exactly. We remove the tail of saw. Can you see that? Yeah. And then we combine saw with a, then we add ma. Can you see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ma here is coming, me. It's coming here disconnected. And it's well, coming. Well, what is the meaning of saw? Saw? I saw. Uh, yeah, what does it mean? Well, I saw actually, that is a kind of, um, it's the name of the peop of the persons here mm -hmm. in some communities so in some countries. So it's a proper name here. Exactly, Sam. And by the way, if you say I saw me, that's something else. It's, it's, it's the person who is struggling in his life in order to get his livelihood. Hmm. Right, here we go. So, um, so this is for meme when it comes in final position. We do have, again, two important cases, sometimes connected, sometimes disconnected. Now, let me move on here. Shapes for writing this letter meme. Masr, Ummi, Kareem, I saw. I would like just to write that. Please follow me in writing this. Yes. Here is that. So I would write Masr, Ma, Saw, and Ra. Kareem. Can you see that? Ka, ra, ya, and the ma. I saw, I saw, a, or alif, and the me. Here is it. Yeah, that's Can you see that? Well, I like that, Sam. Right. Muhammad, excellent. Nabil. Okay, well, that's terrific. Okay. So this is about ma when it comes in final position. Now, let me just move on to the following alphabet in Arabic, which is, it's called noon. Okay. I think that we discussed it before. A lot of Arabic letters that are described as oral sound. But for noon and for me, both of them actually are described as nasal sound. Probably they are the only nasal sounds in Arabic. That means if you just write in, well, do you still remember? We were talking about N or yeah. Na in English. Yeah. It's a kind of nasal sound. 
Yeah. And you put your tip of the tongue against the village or so against your teeth. Yeah. yeah. Can you do that? So we say, nah. Nah. Right, exactly. Nah. So here the, the oral cavity closes so that the air stream comes out from the nose. Exactly, Usama. And that's why they describe the sound as a kind of nasal sound. So that means that the air stream mm. is not released from the oral cavity, it's released from the nasal cavity. Yeah. And it's described as nasal sound. Mm. We we'll put our the front of tongue on the alveolar. Alveolar, yeah, right. Alveolar. Exactly. The back of teeth. Huh? Exactly, that's right. Okay. So that is called the nasal sound. And that's why a lot of linguists classify Arabic as a language that has only two nasal sounds. Mm. Meh. And mm -hmm. Okay, but in English we have three, I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me just read that. It's a connecting letter whose shape resembles that of ba in initial and medial position, except for the placement of the dot. Hmm, very interesting. Can you see that? I would write the letter ba. Yes. You still remember it? Yeah. Yep. Right, yeah. Okay. Here is that in this way a small hook here. But rather than putting dot here, it, if you put dot here, it would be that. Yeah. Okay? If you put that here, it would be that. Ta. Ta. If you put three dots, it will be that. I think that is when it comes to now, we just put one dot. Yeah, one can you see that? Yeah. Well, I think that we can discover more about how can we write now in different position after having a break. My dear viewers, we're going to have a break. Stay tuned. We will be right back. In your standpoint of view, are there specific or certain criteria to choose your spouse or a partner to marry or not to marry? Maybe that's the question. Do we revise the quality of performance of our treatment between the family members as fathers or mothers as they say usually it's not what you say it's how would you say it wouldn't you like to be a good storyteller for your kids neurobiologically speaking child abuse and emotional trauma causes scars in the brain of the child and this might be not easily healing what's the exact job description of a father is it clothing payments and feeding or other important things well I think the job description of a father is merely giving him love and care, self-confidence, giving him sense of security, and checking for the points of strength to strengthen them. What about potty training and its planning? Oh yeah, actually, it's a state, it's a condition. Fatherhood is not a body or a person, it's a state. Are you a good or skillful designer for the policy and the long-term plans of your, the life of your kids? Join us every Wednesday for Family Issues. Assalamu alaikum wa wabarakatuh. Welcome to the second part of our program, Learn Arabic. In the previous part, I think that we were discussing how can you write Nun. Yeah. I think that would be very easy because Nun can be found in English. Yeah. It's a nasal sound. It's very easy in pronunciation. And I would say also it's very easy in writing. Yes. I would say here it's a very interesting point. Nun, if you just would like to write Nun, imagine that you're writing Ba. Okay. And rather than putting the, uh, the dot below the letter, you put that above the letter. Yes. And please be very careful. Here you put the dot here. In this way. Can you see that? Please don't put the dot here, or here, or in this position, or here. Inside, actually. And I think uh, Noon is more care of it than, than Ba. Exactly. I, I would say that, right. But some people actually don't uh, care about that. Yes. Uh, they write that closer to Ba, but they just put one dot above. Well, both of them are right. Okay. Now let me just read what uh, the slide here says. The name is Noon. It's a connecting letter. <coughs> here is that. So we have to understand it's a connecting letter means yeah. it's combined with the following one, which means, in other words, that we never have noon as a disconnected letter in initial position. So it's the same like ta and va and ayn and ayn and so Same series continue on. It's the same rules. Okay. So here is it. It's a connecting letter whose shape resembles a ba in initial and in medial position, except for the placement of the dot. It differs from ba in that the independent and final forms of noon take a characteristic tail shape that dips well below the line. Hmm. That's the point of something that you were talking about, which is curved. curved yeah. Right. So here is it. I would say that it's written here in this way. We put just one dot. 
Mm. How about when it comes to the initial position for Nair? Let me just have a look at this. Hmm. In initial position, it's always connected. Yeah. Can you see that? But again here, the same problem we are speaking about in the previous episode, that we have in the Everglades Quran a disconnected noon. And well, also we have a, a whole chapter, that, an entire chapter that is uh, called noon or... Mm. Yeah, I think we can keep going on discussing the same thing again and again, but theoretically we won't be able to prove it. So mm. I think the summary, of the summary of the situation is that we should not discuss this, because even though we discuss it, we cannot theoretically prove it. What does it mean? It sounds like the disagreement is still on between yeah. Islam and Muhammad. Yeah. But uh, I would tell you that is, well, we discussed that before in Salt. And we said that we have Surah in Quran that starts with Salt, mm. like that. And also we have Surah Al-Qalam that starts yes. with Noon. Noon wal qalam wa may yastul pray, something like that. So, if you just ask me what's the meaning of noon, I would say I don't know. But if you ask me, if, does it have a meaning? I would say oh, absolutely. Because you, because you believe in it. That's your belief. That's part of your religion. Right. Yeah. But a non-Muslim, you should try to explain to him. You say I believe in it. So he won't. He won't. He won't. For him, it doesn't really matter what you believe in. You can't theoretically prove it that mm. it has some meaning. So that's the I point. would say, if I, if I am in this position, and if I am in your shoes, and to be asked such a question, I would say that we have secrets, but we don't know what is it. So, I do believe that there is something here and in this And this is question. open for us to, to search more about exactly. what that mean, might mean. But on the other hand, I respect Muhammad's opinion, that he is actually making a kind of reasoning and logic opinion. You don't need, it, yep. It's there for search, but we... Half of us say it's a secret, so we don't even care about it. It's, yep. It goes in our secret books, and <coughs> only a few percent of us mm. maybe try to look for it. That's right. Okay, now let's now get back again to noon when it comes to the initial position. I, say, I would say when it comes to the initial position, it's always connected like the pronoun nahnu. I think we did not discuss so far the pronouns in Arabic, in Arabic language. We did not discuss, for example, the adjectives, the nouns, the verbs. And I think that in the second part, special episodes for learning Arabic, we can discuss more about that. But um, just to give, me, to give you an example for noon, so when it comes to initial positions, always connected like nahnu. Here is that, which means we. Okay, how about in the medial position? In medial position here is connected. Like, for example, the word Tunis. Yeah. Can you see that? Okay, Tunis is the name, it's Tunisia, the, uh, the name of one country in North Africa. Okay, so in medial position, it's always connected like sana which means year. Let yeah. me just write that. And the word Tunis, for example, how many letters do we have in Tunis? We have four. 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 Are you sure about that? Ta? 100%. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Wa, na, and sa. Sa. Can you see that? Mm. Do you have any uh, notice or any observation about these letters? Na, wa, na. I'm sorry. See, it's probably for that. <coughs> yep. Seems probably empathetic. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I would say here that we have tail, beer, sound, we have Y is a vowel, this is a con nasal consonant, and this is another uh, consonant, consonant yeah. in the Arabic also. But let me just combine all of them together. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say that ta here starts with a small hook. Please follow me in writing that. Here is a ta. Yeah. Okay. And then we have wa. We're going to discuss more about wa after a while. And then we have na. Here is it for na when it comes in medial position again. We start with a small hook here in this way. We put just one dot, and then we make three teeth. Here is that sa is coming here in the final position, so we must have tail. Yeah. Okay, so this is about Tunis. Okay, let me just have a look at this yeah. with Yep, here we go. Well, excellent, Nabi yeah. Muhammad. Well, that's great, okay. So this is for now, when it comes in middle position. Okay, how about now when it comes in final position? Let me just have a look at this. In final position, I would say that sometimes it comes um, connected. Sometimes it's connected. Right. And sometimes comes disconnected. Let me like just give um, you an example. Azan. <coughs> right. Yeah. If I say, for example, uh, the name in Arabic, Ayman. So let me start with that here. We have A, we have Ya, we have Ma, and we have Na. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. Is that, there we go. Is that Urdu Pa or Arabic? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no order here. This is just Arabic. Okay, let me just write Thank that. Thank you for the three dots. And okay, here is it. A, uh, yeah, ma, and then na. Yeah. Can you see that? Yes. So a uh, here comes the initial position, disconnected all the time, and then we combine actually yeah with ma after that, and then we combine ma with ma here in this one. Yeah. Can you see that? 
Yes. Yeah. So it comes here connected with the previous one and in final position. In final position, and we do have tail. Yeah. yeah. But how about when it comes disconnected, like the word, yeah. for example, London. London. Yeah. Here we go. So how many letters do we have in London? Four. Well, four, yeah. La. Na. Da. And na. Na. Yeah. That is connected with the previous one. We know that. Yeah. Yeah. But we never have that that's connected with the following one. Yeah. It's a rule of thumb. Yeah. Okay. How about now? Now, on the other hand, comes here in the middle position and it's connected in this way. And then we make there. And then we make What's the uh, Arabic pronunciation of London? It's London. In the oh. It's London. I would say the same. Right. Some people in the Gulf area say London. Yeah. Sounds London. like that. They say London. London. Uh, yeah. Some people in Sudan, when I was in Sudan, they say London. Sounds like London, that. But yeah. again, it depends on your dialect. Okay. But anyway, the bottom line here is that we have now in final position that is disconnected. Okay. So this is about noon. Different shapes for writing this letter. So let me just repeat all of them again. I would write all of them. Please follow me in writing this. Okay. Here is it. So we have the first one here, Nahnu, which is a pronoun, plural pronoun. Na, ha, and other na. Here is that. Yeah. Okay. Tunis. So I would say that here. Can you see that? Ta. Here is it. Okay. How about London? Here is it. Na, da, another na. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Are you done? Sick. Okay. That's perfect. Okay. I like that. Well, that's excellent. Terrific. Okay. So this is about na. Let me just now move on to the Arabic. I would say that this is probably the Arabic uh, letter that is described as ha. Hmm. And do we have something like that in different languages for ha? Yeah, we have H in English. Right. It's H, right. Yeah. And is it pronounced like ha in Arabic? No, no, not, not in the same manner. Right. Probably in hat in Arabic could be but stronger. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Okay. Let me just uh, read that here in the slide. And it says this letter represents a familiar sound, the one spelled in English by H in house. <coughs> okay. I like English hat, which can be silent in our. Can you see that? I don't think so. Um, ha is actually close to house because house is very, very slight and ha <coughs> is very strong. I think that's probably the wrong mistake. Right. And mm -hmm. on the other hand, I would say, for example, if you give uh, another example like hat. Yeah, that's mm. probably more close than hat. Right. Yes. But I would say again here that also in house, we have also um, a clear age. No, here. I think yeah. house is very late. Compared well, if you compare it to her and house. Here is the point. Yes, Osama, you have a comment. No, I, I, I'm, I'm saying that uh, ha, okay. Uh, is different in Arabic is different from uh, from H in English. Exactly, Very and that's different. why that I want to say that H in Arabic is probably closer to H in English, but it's not like H in English. Yeah. We can understand more about H here in the slides, and it says. Um, moreover, the English H sound tends to be occur at the beginning of the word or syllable, whereas Arabic H can occur in a position. Well. I think, let me just make a kind of experience here. I would say <coughs> house, mm. and I would say for, can you give me an example for ha? In Arabic? Hamza. In Arabic. Hamza. Hada. Hada, right. Harun. <coughs> or Harun, something like that. Yep. Haraba. Haraba, yes. right, yeah. okay. I would explain that here, that is, I would say that is, if you just say hat. Yeah. And if you just say um, in Arabic, like for example, the word haram, yeah, I think that there is a close relationship between both in pronunciation. I know that they are. I heard anything that is H A is closer than H what is H O H U. H A is more closer to her. Ha. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Can you see that? So this is my point. If you just pronounce like hard, hard, right, hard as you said, right. So and if you say heart or hurt, or if you say, for example, um, I think hurt, hurt is you probably taking away the, the the thickness of her. Okay, so here is the point. I would tell you that is, 
In Arabic, we have ha, and I would say that's very close to H in English in certain way. Yeah. But on the other hand, you can find in English that H may not be pronounced like ha in Arabic. Is like, for example, if you say our, yeah. so it's not pronounced. We yeah. have H right, but it's not pronounced. Silent, yeah. Right. We don't have that in Arabic, by the way. So I would tell you that how when it comes to the initial position, I think that all the time it's connected. Yes. And I think that is we can discover more about how in the upcoming episodes. I'm sorry about our time is running out, my dear viewers. If you just have any comment, please send me an email to brave107 at yahoo.com. Thank you for joining us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A is for Allah, nothing but Allah. Ba is the beginning of Bismillah. Ta is for taqwa, bewaring of Allah. And tha is for thawab, a reward. Ja is for Jannah, the garden of paradise. Ha is for Hajj, the blessed pilgrimage. Kha is for Khatim, the seal of the prophethood given to the prophet. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam